So for those of you that aren't the fr aren't familiar with Tin Fins, uh, Tin Fins is a Storm Reanimator combo deck. It's both both of these decks kind of wrapped into one. It's got a reanimation plan with uh, Gorio's Vengeance and Shallow Grave, which both put a creature into play with haste. And then you have Entomb and Discard Spells and Careful Study to get them into your bin. And then you draw a bunch of cards with Gristle Brand and gain a bunch of life back with uh, Children of Koilos. This card gains you life equal to the life you've lost this turn. And then you basically draw your entire deck and either put an Emrakul into play and attack them for 22, or cast Tendrils of Agony with a large Storm Count and drain them out. So let's see, are we 1-2 or 1-3? We're 1-2, alright. So let's fire up a League match here with Tinfins. See how we're doing. I appreciate everyone still hanging out. That paired very quickly, which is nice. Hey, Boffity. I think tomorrow is going to be a hex stream day. Well, I guess Saturday's probably going to be a hex stream day with the Sapphire Cup, so maybe maybe tomorrow will be a little bit of both. What does this hand do? This hand... This hand's pretty reasonable. I think we keep this. We're on the play. Um, I think we get Underground Sea and Thought Seas our opponent on one. We can't. Unfortunately, we don't have an Intomb or... Yeah, I think we just thought sees on one here. This is weak to a wasteland, but we don't have another land, so I think that's what we want to do. There might be merit to careful studying too, but that kind of gives the jig up right away. Opponents playing burn, so that's that's reasonable for us. So we're gonna take the pyrostatic pillar away from him because that deals damage to us whenever we cast our cheap spells. Uh, I have no idea, Settolution. I haven't, uh, I haven't decided yet. I've been trying different... I'm actually, I just joined a gauntlet with a four-color four color deck that turned out to be pretty awful, believe it or not. So, we'll see. I'm just trying different things. Chrome Mox is not bad, so we get to go ahead and... Hmm. We actually have an interesting decision here. We could Brainstorm to start. And then we could always careful study after. Yeah, I think we brainstorm to start. Let's try that. <laughs> and then our opponent dies because we're good at magic. So we put brainstorm and chrome mox back on top of our deck. We play polluted delta. We crack polluted delta. Get our swamp. We cast our dark ritual, which gives us three black manas. We cast our intomb, which puts gristlebrand into our graveyard. We cast our Gorio's Vengeance on our Gristlebrand. And then we draw seven cards here. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, jeez. We might be missing here. All right, well, we're going to play this Chrome Mox. Because we can't draw seven more because we'll die. It's unfortunate. I would like to use Chrome Mox's ability, yes. Uh, careful study, pitch that. I guess we'll cast Brainstorm. Ugh! This is so bad. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely attacking. I just don't think we can... Can we can we draw more cards? We can draw eight cards, I guess, but then we're at five and we die and it's untapped? Or are we just supposed to, like, pass the turn here? I guess it's possible I was supposed to, instead of this, I was supposed to Cabal Therapy here. But we're going to lose Gristlebrand now. Maybe I'm just supposed to draw a bunch of cards because if we hit children, if we hit children in the five cards underneath it, 
Yeah, I'm gonna draw seven. Yeah, look at that! Woo! <laughs> all right, all right. So now, now our opponent is actually dead. I think they're they're like our opponent's very likely dead. So we look at their hand. We we don't care about their hand. Uh, we look at their hand again. <sighs> yeah, yeah, fair magic. Fair magic. All right, so this is a great first game to play with this deck for sure. So now we crack this and play Children's of Coilos, which we sacrifice to gain life equal to the amount of life we've lost this turn, which happens to be 19. And now we draw some more cards. Now we draw some more cards. And we play out Lotus Petal. Man, did we still not kill him? Really? Oh, no, wait. We can... We can shallow grave back the children's of close. Right, return the top creature of your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste, exile at the end step. Okay, so we didn't find the other children, but we can crack this. Dark ritual. Dark ritual. Um, shallow grave children into play. Sacrifice children. Uh, draw cards. Draw cards. All right. All right. I figured it out. This is the first time I've actually gone off fully. Our opponent's always conceded before. So now we go uh, Lotus Petal. Storm count is 15. Crack this for black. Cast tendrils kill you. Oh, yeah. Storm trigger. Welcome to Legacy. Enjoy your stay. All right. So sideboarding <laughs> get him got him good all right how do we sideboard uh abrupt decay is abrupt decay good abrupt decay seems fine like, they probably have Ensnaring Bridge, they have Pyrostatic Pillar, they probably have Eidolon. So I think... I think we want the Abrupt Decays. Uh, the spider combo deck's actually pretty expensive. Uh, Fentios are really high right now. Uh, I think it's close to like 200 bucks. Until Fearic Vortex will lock you out. Oh, yeah. Decay is great. Okay. So we might need Chain of Vapor, too. I think... I think the... Uh, Serenity. Okay, yeah. Okay, I like Serenity. Actually, I kind of like Serenity better than Abrupt Decay, because it hits multiple. But Serenity doesn't work right away. Alright. The golden rule is never board more than four cards with this deck, is what I've been told. I'm going to cut a careful study. I'm going to cut a thought seize because losing life sounds dangerous. What else are we cutting? We cut probes too. We cut probes. Take out all the probes? I could see taking out all the probes. Okay. And thought seize is just better. And the careful study maybe. Trim all the probes against burn. Probing makes cabal therapy easier, which is nice. Yeah, I think we're going to try it like this. What does this hand do? I think two children's extra good in this matchup because it can counter a burn spell, basically. So I think we keep this, and the plan is literally... Um, if we draw Dark Ritual, we go off on one. Otherwise, we just move to discard. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. Usually when we go off that illusion, the storm count is high enough. Like, um, we, we had a storm count of 15 last game. Which is just, like, infinite, basically. Alright, we hit Entomb. So I think we just move to discard here and bin, bin the Gristlebrand. And then next turn, if we draw a land, a Lotus Petal, or a Dark Ritual, we cast Shallow Grave. Eidolon on two or Pyrocytic Pillar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well now we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. 
Anchorage is supposed to pass. Yeah, I think we have to pass. Hmm. I think this hand was keepable. This game is probably the low end of keepable. All right, I'll try again. Be on the play. First match we've taken to third th to a third game. It was turn three. We hadn't won yet. We're just we're just giving it up, you know. We either win by turn three or we just like tap out. This hand can cast the Abrupt Decays, and we have a discard outlet, so we just need to find Fatty. We have plenty of time on the clock. Let me know in hand, in chat, if you think this is a keeper dot. The problem is they kill us so quickly. Like, their deck kills us pretty consistently by turn 4 or 5. And, like, we only have one piece of interaction... We have two pieces of interaction. I'd keep on the play. Okay, on the play, it's probably fair. Yeah, I feel like it just doesn't do anything. We could kill him on turn one or turn two. Ponder into therapy. Yeah, I feel like this is a keep against, like, miracles we'd keep this. But against burn, I feel like we just need to be more aggressive. Keep with a scry. Bottom. I'm gonna brainstorm on one, and if we get the perfects, we kill him. And if we don't hit the perfects, we play a flooded strand and shuffle him away. That's nowhere near the perfects. Um, put this away. Put this away. Crack this for underground sea thought season. Take away his piece of interaction. Brainstorming with the pedals aggressive, but like the hand had plenty of mana in it, so. So he has Bolt, Spike, Chain Lightning, Price of Progress. I think we just play the Delta and pass here. We want to hold this in case we hit a Fatty to discard. Yep. Probably losing this game. Nope. All right, well, there's half. That means we can cast the Skabal Therapy. So he's played Chain Lightning, Lava Spike, so he has Lightning Bolt and Price of Progress that we know about. So we're definitely targeting him. I think we're just naming Lightning Bolt. Mm 